This video includes a paid sponsorship from Span, but I'll talk more about that later. Tesla recently released details about the new powertrain design that will be used in their next generation vehicles at their recent investors day. But I've actually found some clues that lead me to believe that one of the key technologies that I believe will be a part of this next generation powertrain is already being implemented in Tesla's current Model 3 and Model Y motors. So let's dive into these clues and talk about why I believe this to be the case and also discuss why Tesla's move to a hairpin stator design for the new powertrains is such a big deal. I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. Over the last several years, Tesla has quietly been improving their vehicle powertrains in the factories that build them. And during Tesla's recent Investors Day event, Colin Campbell, who is the VP of Power Engineering at Tesla, said the following regarding powertrain improvements. Now the Model 3 and Y powertrain is a great example of this broader meaning of efficiency. So since we launched it back in 2017, we've continuously improved that powertrain and the factory that builds it. So the drive unit, the engine of the car, is 20% lighter for the same power. We use 25% less heavy rare earths than when we started, and the powertrain factory, which is behind me today, is 75% smaller and 65% cheaper than the one we originally built. Now those are some impressive improvements, but how was Tesla able to make their powertrain, for instance, 20% lighter over previous designs, but keep the same amount of power? Well, I believe Tesla left us a big clue that really answers this question. And I believe it comes down to them switching from a round wire wound stator design, which we'll talk about, to what is referred to as a hairpin stator design. One of the big clues that I'm referring to is this image that Tesla included on this slide, which was displayed while Colin was describing the Model 3, Model Y powertrain improvements. As Sandy Monroe and Corey Steuben recently pointed out in a Monroe Live YouTube video that they published, this image on this slide is of a hairpin stator motor design, which is a departure from the round wire wound versions of their stators that they exclusively used in the past. Additionally, Tesla showed this video during this part of the presentation, and this clearly shows a motor with a hairpin design being manufactured. So I believe once again that this technology is actually being used by Tesla today. Now, when it comes to the topic, we need to briefly highlight the difference between a rotor and a stator. The stator is actually the outside sleeve and the copper windings in which the rotor goes into. As this article on Laser AX's website states, motion is achieved by creating opposite magnetic fields, one in the stator and one in the rotor. In this video, we're gonna focus in on the stator design, which is that sleeve once again, with the copper windings in which the stator gets inserted into. Those windings are done in two common ways with electric vehicle motors. One is the traditional round wire that is wrapped around and twisted, and often you'll see a big um, coiled up wire section at the top of that motor. And you can see that in the Monroe Live uh, YouTube videos where they tear down various Tesla motors. Instead of using the traditional uh, round wire wrapped design like Tesla has used a lot in the past, you can actually use um, a hairpin design, which is basically what it sounds like. You actually have a series of wire pieces that are cut into the shape of what looks like a hairpin. And then those are inserted in and welded together and then twisted to form the copper windings that make up that stator. Here's how Porsche describes this, talking about the Taycan motor. A special feature of the Taycan's electric motors is the hairpin winding mechanism. Here, the stator coils consist of wires that are rectangular rather than round. The wires are bent and their shape before they are inserted into the stator's laminated core is reminiscent of hairpins, hence the name hairpin. Now, when it comes to some of the reasons why this new hairpin design is so significant, a recent Monroe Live YouTube video was published entitled Don't Bet Against Elon Musk, Sandy and Corey's Recap of Tesla Investors Day. And in that video, Sandy Monroe and Corey Steuben had several key things that I wanna highlight um, about Tesla's new hairpin design. Sandy Monroe said once again, referring to the hairpin motor design. So this is totally automatable, 100% automatable. And depending on who you talk to, this is anywhere from 20 to 30% more power. This is a really good idea. Notice that Sandy Monroe mentioned 20 to 30% more power, which totally lines up with the statement by Colin Campbell that the new Model 3 and Model Y powertrains were, quote, 20% lighter for the same power. 
But what is it about this hairpin design that lends itself to more power? Well, I'm going to dive into this, but before I do that, I want to introduce the sponsor of today's video. Thanks to Span for sponsoring this video. In addition to other useful features, the Span Smart Electrical Panel can help extend your battery backup time by somewhere around 40% on average. It is currently compatible with several popular home battery backup systems like the Tesla Powerwall, Solar Edge, and LG Chem. Also, integration with Enphase is coming soon. SPAN allows you to remotely monitor and track your energy usage and prioritize which circuits get power during a power outage with real-time control, thus eliminating the need for a separate critical loads panel. To find out more and get a quote for your particular situation, go over to span.io or click the link in the video description. And when you do fill out that form to get a quote, make sure that you let Span know that John from CleanerWatt sent you. Now, when it comes to why a hairpin stator design generates more power, in the Monroe Live YouTube video that I referenced earlier, Corey Steuben followed up Sandy Monroe's statements about an increase in power by saying, the reason you get there is you get better fill factor. So fill factor is these spaces right here are filled with more copper. There are some benefits to skin effect, but essentially if you could put more copper and vary the thickness of your hairpins based on the application and need, you can more carefully tailor this to the needs of your platform versus the wire wound ones. Typically, you have a lot of gaps and spaces in between all the circle wires. So basically this new hairpin design is much more efficient when it comes to spacing efficiency of the copper in the stator. And better space efficiency leads to a smaller motor with less weight without losing power. When it comes to putting some specific numbers on the efficiency of a hairpin design versus a round wire design, Porsche says the following about the hairpin design that they use in their all-electric Taycan. While conventional winding processes have a copper filling factor of 45 to 50%, it is just under 70% in this case. And when Porsche says in this case, they're referring to the Taycan motor. They go on, this increases power output and torque for the same volume. When it comes to some of the other benefits of this increased fill factor and the efficiency of how you can pack in uh, the copper and not have as many gaps in that stator. Once again, going back to Laser AX and the article they wrote about this, this article mentions a number of benefits from this hairpin stator design, including the fact that, quote, due to the better fill factor, the additional copper generates a stronger magnetic field. This allows a stronger rotation of the rotor and more torque at the wheels. So since this hairpin design does create a stronger magnetic field, I believe it's very possible, and this is my theory, but I theorize that one of the main ways that Tesla was able to use 25% less rare earths than the current Model 3 motor might actually be directly related to this more efficient fill factor. Thus, the magnets don't have to be quite as strong as they were before to reach the same amount of power. So Tesla can reduce the rare earths in their magnets, thus making them a little weaker, but because of the increased magnetic field of the hairpin design, that would make up for this. That's my theory. If you know more about this, and if you're an expert on uh, electric motors, please let us know in the comments section below if my theory is correct. Now, of course, Tesla's next generation of electric motors will take this to the next step, and they're not going to use any rare earths. And I believe this is partially enabled, once again, by the hairpin design. But also, as I talked about in a previous video, Tesla might also use other strong magnet technologies like the iron nitride magnets that I referenced in one of my last videos, like for instance, those that Nyron Magnetics is working on. Now, in addition to all the benefits we've talked about so far, there are also some thermal benefits to this hairpin stator design. As Porsche mentions once again on their newsroom website, talking about the Taycan motor, quote, another important advantage is that a hairpin stator can be cooled considerably more efficiently. In addition, once again, going back to this Laser AX article, quote, hairpins can carry more current than round wires. This better efficiency generates less heat in the winding and in the motor. This simplifies temperature management and improves the reliability and lifespan of the motor. So being able to simplify the thermal management system of a motor is going to lead to once again a less expensive design and also one that is lighter and less complicated. This is actually quite a big deal. Okay, so we focused in on the product itself and the improvements there, and they're very substantial. But now I'd like to just briefly talk about the improvements in the factory that builds these powertrains because this actually may be even more significant than the powertrains themselves. That's impressive what we've talked about so far, but being able to reduce 
the size of the powertrain factory by 75%. And being able to build these factories 65% cheaper, that's incredible. Now, when it comes to how Tesla was able to achieve these kind of improvements of the factory, I believe it all comes down to automation, which can lead to a lot of efficiency. Now, it is important to note that manufacturing a hairpin stator is very complicated as this article on the European MG Motor website states, why is hairpin technology not widely used? mainly because the hairpin winding manufacturing process is very complicated. It's necessary to shape the wire into a hairpin before it is automatically inserted into the stator core slot, then the ends must be twisted and welded. Therefore, hairpin motors can't be manufactured by hand. It requires an enormous investment to build a highly efficient production line for these motors. Thankfully though, Tesla has some of the best engineering talent in the world working for them. And with good engineers, complicated steps can be automated and become very efficient. I have seen traditional wound wire stators being manufactured with some automation, but apparently this hairpin design lends itself even more to automation. Now I wanna do more research on specific ways that Tesla is able to achieve these efficiencies in the factory. But once again, this video that Tesla shared at Investors Day shows a highly automated hairpin stator manufacturing process. With that being said, once again, going back to that Laser AX article, this article does mention two specific general benefits of this design when it comes to manufacturing and this article states, the symmetrical and solid shape of hairpins makes them easier to wind than round wires, which simplifies assembly a great deal. Round wires need stitch cords to hold the windings together, a process known as stator lacing. This is not required for hairpins. Now, beyond all the clues that I've talked about so far, here are more reasons why I believe Tesla is actually manufacturing these hairpin motors right now and why I believe they're actually in vehicles that they're building at their current factories. Back in December of 2021, Electrek published an article that discussed Model 3 and Model Y new features and changes that were leaked through a European test program. Apparently, one of these changes that was leaked was, quote, adding M3 Performance M50 hairpin wound DU variant. I'm pretty certain DU means drive unit, so we're talking about a change to a hairpin wound drive unit variant. In addition, I came across this webpage, and this lines up very well with that timeline, but this Tesla Owners Denmark article, which highlights a number of Tesla Model 3 changes over the years, claims that back in November of 2021, the Model 3 got a new motor with hairpin windings, which increased efficiency by 2%. So once again, we don't have official confirmation from Tesla that this new hairpin design is being used in vehicles being sold today by Tesla. However, I believe with all the evidence that I've shared in this video, it becomes very clear that this is very likely the case. I would love to hear from you in the comments section below, not only about the design of the motor itself, but also the factory efficiencies. And if you know anything about this, if you're an expert in the field of electric motors, or you have information that you want to share with me about this topic, feel free to email me. My email address is john, J-O-N, at cleanerwatt. Dot com. Again, john, J-O-N, at cleanerwatt.com. I want to say once again, thank you to Span for sponsoring this video. And also to all of those of you who support me on Patreon, thank you for your support. It makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.